Hey, it's Mike with TalkDaddies.com, and today I'm at Sport Check for a very special event. Now, this is Justin from Sport Check. Thanks for having me here today. Thanks for coming, Mike. We're happy to have you. So, what are we doing here? So, today we are checking out the brand new GoPro Karma drone. We're getting everybody into a shuttle, heading out to Warren Field at UBC and giving everybody the opportunity to fly and check out some of the footage that Karma has to offer. Sounds good, and I'll be able to actually uh, practice and play. And you will yourself will be able to practice and play with the brand new Karma drone here. That sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, can we? Are we going right now? Let's go right now. Let's do it. Hi, Mike. I'm Kelly from GoPro. Nice to meet you, Kelly. Nice so, to uh, meet you. what are we doing out here today? Well, well, we're in lovely Vancouver, learning how to fly the Karma drone. Um, and use the Karma Grip Stabilizer. So tell me a little bit about the Karma drone then. What makes it a little bit different than some of the others on the market? Yeah, I mean, what we think really sets Karma apart from other drones on the market is that it's an entire stabilization system. So in Karma packaging or in the Karma system, you're um, gonna get a drone for aerial footage as well as a handheld stabilizer so that you can capture really smooth, like cinematic Hollywood quality video on for any activity that you do on the ground, whether that's chasing your your kids around the neighborhood uh, or mountain biking or skiing or any type of activity that you might want to capture on your GoPro. The stabilizer is really easy to take on and off so it just has a simple unlock feature here and you can pop the stabilizer right off and that can go into the grip which is really pretty cool and easy. We wanted to make it super simple for people to use. We also wanted to make it really compact so this is what it looks like in you know full ready to fly form. And then all you have to do to get to uh, put it back in its packaging is fold the legs down. You fold your propellers in. It's kind of like a transformer, really. Fold it in. That and folds up pretty small. Yeah, it folds up really small. And then this just goes right into a backpack that you can easily carry and transport anywhere that you want to go. Um, another thing that's really cool about the drone and I think different about Karma is that we actually have the camera on the front of the drone. Most drones have the camera kind of below the drone in the belly. What does that matter? Well, having it in the belly makes it a lot easier from an engineering standpoint, from a lift and um, flying standpoint and weight distribution. But what we really wanted to eliminate with Karma was getting any type of propeller um, mm. movement in the footage and with a lot of uh, drones where you have the um, camera right in the belly you you're see seeing those right front away. propellers move and that was something that we knew was a common complaint from consumers and that we really wanted to eliminate so we worked very hard to make it um, front mounted so that you wouldn't have that and it would also make the stabilizer really easy to take on and off to put into the grip. Okay and it's pretty easy to operate and there's some pretty cool features in terms of how you can operate it too? Yeah the controller is like uh, we kind of tried to make it like a video game we didn't put a ton of buttons on it or a lot of information on the screen. We wanted to make it really easy, really approachable for first time flyers, um, but also make it really fun to fly for people that are more proficient in flying drones. And I think we've really achieved that great balance. And so when you get out there uh, and fly, you're gonna, I think, have a really easy, really fun time. And you'll be able to take it all over the field and get some really great content. All right, and I do like the Karma grip aspect of it as well. Can you show me how that works? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, let's check it out. Cool. Okay, so this is going to hold my GoPro nice and steady as I'm walking and running. Correct. Yep, okay. and no matter what height or angle, it's going to hold it nice and steady and be really smooth. Okay. And you just want to remember to press the red button when you want to start and stop recording. Sounds good. And I also have a highlight tag so I can... Yep, that's a highlight tag. So if I follow my face on the course, you can highlight that to include in your edit. <laughs> and I can also change the mode to photo mode if I decide to? Correct. Photo, burst, uh, time lapse, any of the modes that you want to use from your camera, you can use through the grip. Okay, I'm going to put the wrist strap on just because... Yep. And uh, what do you want me to do? So we're going to have you run through some of those cones and then wrap around and maybe jump over some of the ladders there. And then we can see how smooth the footage is on the back end. Okay, sounds good. I'll do okay, that. Cool. Thanks for making me do work here. Well, yeah, you're welcome. All right. All right. You can go through the cones. Woo! How was that? That was very good. All right, Lucas, so I've got my drone set up over there. Uh, you are going to teach me how to fly this thing. For sure. Okay. So we'll start off by opening up our controller here. It's got the screen attached to it all ready for you to go. Press start and stop. Hold it down for three seconds. Two, one. Perfect. So you can press auto takeoff and watch the drone there. Okay. And now you'll want to put your fingers on the joysticks there because you can get ready to fly. So you can go up with the left joystick. That elevates it. Going down, we're obviously bring it down, which you don't need to do. Turning it left and right. And 
then the right joystick, yep, strafes it and makes it go forward and backwards. Nice. All right, so I just finished flying the Karma drone and I can't believe how easy this thing is to fly. As well as all the cool features, the orbit cam, the drone mode, uh, there's all sorts of different things that you can do to get some really cool shots easily without having to be an experienced pilot. Um, the other thing that I do find really cool is the passenger app where you can have somebody beside you operating the camera so that you can actually concentrate on flying the drone itself. If you are interested in flying drones, make sure that you check out the regulations in whatever area it, that you are flying because you can't fly these things wherever you want. Make sure that you are flying it legally and safely as well. Wow, Justin, that was a lot of fun. Thanks for having me uh, out Absolutely. at the event today. Thank you. That was a ton of fun. Really loved all the features of the Karma drone. Um, if people wanted to learn more about it, where can they go? Absolutely. Head to uh, sportcheck.ca. We have a GoPro brand page there. You can learn a little more about the drone as well as purchase one for yourself. Sounds good. Well, Justin, thank you so much again. Thank again, much. for more information, check out sportcheck.ca. And don't forget to follow Top Daddies on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time.